fellow YouTubers. Today I'm going to present a outline of a course about um, losing weight. And to just kind of give you an idea of what the course will contain, we will go into how do you lose weight fast but yet safe? Um, how much should you really be thinking about losing uh, if you're losing weight? Well, a good, a good uh, hint about how much you should lose is you shouldn't strive to shoot for uh, more than two to four pounds loss per month. And really to be perfectly safe, you should be focusing somewhere around this two pounds per month target. I know, I know that may not sit well with a lot of you that are looking for something you know, fast and quick and, but this, you know, losing weight and losing it the right way um, is all about consistency and it's about consistency over your life. Um, so, you know, how, how will you meet your weight loss goals and what will you learn, um, you know, from this video? Well, today we're going to cover number one. We're going to cover, um, how to create your why statement. In other words, why do I wanna lose weight? And uh, here's another little hint. It is a life-changing moment um, that's going to drive you. And we're gonna go through some of those uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, <clears throat> the next one, uh, which I'm gonna cover in a video uh, later, is uh, to develop simple eating strategies to meet your lifestyle. and. You know, every, everybody's different. Um, honestly, our lifestyles are our lifestyles and, you know, mine is different than yours and yours is different from someone else's. And so, you know, losing weight is not a one, a one-stop shop. It's not, you know, one method meets all. So um, to get to uh, simple eating strategies for your lifestyle, um, you know, we'll have to dive into that and explore it in another video. We, can, we won't be able to cover it in this video. And then, and then the third step is to develop simple exercise strategies to meet your lifestyle. And again, it's the same principle. Um, it's not like we can just say, you know, follow these simple exercises and, and it's going to work for you. Uh, no, we're going to need to figure out your lifestyle and what strategies uh, we can implement so that you can maintain these simple exercises really over a lifetime. And that's what we're talking about is, you know, how to do this uh, fast and safe, yes. Uh, two to four pounds a month, yes. But something that's going to last, not something that's going to be here and it's gonna be quick and, and then it's gone. So uh, we're talking about uh, a lifestyle change. So, what does that mean for us? Well, here's, here's what the training program is for. Here's who it's for. The training program is for someone who is at the point of their life where they've said, enough is enough. Um, and enough is enough. You'll see my, uh, my uh, moment here shortly. But what's enough for you? Um, or have you tried, you know, programs, you've tried uh, diets and maybe you've had some success uh, and then you see your weight just come back uh, or maybe you even way more than when you started. And, and, and it just becomes frustrating after a while and you kind of, your wits in and you're like, there's just nothing left for me to try. Um, and that's why I developed this program because I did try a lot of these diets and and I, and I found that a lot of them um, just didn't fit uh, my lifestyle and what I was doing and what I was trying to accomplish. And, and so it, di it just didn't match what I, what I needed it for. And so that's why I, I finally developed my own program, which you're going to see here uh, in, in a few short minutes. Um, it is for someone who finally, who wants to finally live the healthy lifestyle they've dreamed of, um, look the way you want to look, fit in the clothes you want to fit in, and, um, you know, enjoy your life. And, and you know, the, the way this program's set up is to enjoy your life and not 
stress and fret about, you know, what you're eating and what you're not doing, or did I, did I, you know, miss my meeting or did I miss my way in? Did I, did I do this and do that? No, it, this, it's, it's not, it's not like that. It's just, it's just not natural uh, to live like that. So what will you take away from this course? Um, well, you're going you're gonna to take away the how. How are you going to lose two to four pounds a month safely? You're going to develop your eating plan, like I talked about earlier, to suit your unique lifestyle. You're going to develop your fun. Notice I say fun and stress-free exercise plan, also based on your unique lifestyle. And then you're going to learn how to set realistic goals um, for you know what what you're what's going on in your life right now. Um, you know a lot of us have been upended with um, restrictions, and we can't travel, and you know maybe we're changing jobs, or we've lost our job, or we're trying to find a new job, and you know those are all those are all unique, and so. You know, this, this plan and this course is just def- designed, um, you know, f- for you. It's designed to be customized for you. Um, and it is full of tips and tricks uh, to kind of keep you motivated and, and learning along your weight loss journey. Um, one, one of the, the tips that I always like to, to, you know, talk to my students uh, that I coach is... You know, when, you, when you're moving and, um, you know, you're actually starting the program and you're, you know, you're, you're kind of into it. And you've got your goals and you're eating and you're, you're eating right and you're eating, uh, you're exercising. Um, you'll notice that your clothes start to fit a little bit different. They start fitting a little bit looser. And one of the tips and the tricks is don't just run to the store and buy the next size down uh, for, of your clothes. Uh, keep those clothes, keep those loose fitting clothes on you until someone says, walks up to you and says, have you been losing weight or have you been exercising or what's going on? And that's going to be a motivator for you because that means that not only are you noticing because your clothes are fitting looser, but other people are noticing because they're commenting about your clothes fitting looser. And so don't be in a hurry to just run out and you know, buy that next size and, you know, keep, keep those clothes that you started with. Now, sooner or later, you know, you're going to have to change your size, um, you know, go down a size, but you don't have to rush off and do it right away. Um, that's one of the, that's one of the uh, tips and tricks that I learned is when people started commenting, um, you, have, have you, uh, did you buy a bigger size shirt or are, are you, are you losing weight or what's going on? And that tells you right away that, you know, you're on your way. You're on your way to your, on, on your weight loss journey. So um, that's just a little, a little tip. Um, and sometimes, you know, just the way your clothes fit is, uh, it, it's more revealing than, you know, the scale, which I'm not a big fan of jumping on the scale every day or every week or even every month. Um, but we'll get more into that later. So who am I? So, um... I'm a I'm an I'm an author. I'm a uh, a tennis coach. I'm a physical fitness coach. I've been mentoring people for twenty something years, uh, but I did write a book about this subject. Uh, it was called My Secret T- Trainer, and it was a story about life, love, and losing weight. And the reason I wrote it uh, was because I was motivated. I was very motivated. I was. I was into my weight loss program, a program that I finally figured out, that I finally figured out worked, and it didn't just work for me. It was working for others because they had asked me, what's going on? Is your, you know, your clothes are getting bigger or you're losing weight? And so I was lucky that I had a lot of people uh, very early on asking me this, and I learned a lot from them as I was giving them um, this program. So... Um, that, that's who I am. Um, I, I've got about 25 years of successful um, maintaining my weight. You know, when I finally hit my goal weight, my goal weight was always 165. And, you know, even through the lockdowns and the shutdowns and, you know, I, I heard a lot of people say, well, I'm getting COVID fat and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But I didn't experience any of that because it was, 
you know, the plan stays with you, whether you're, you know, you're active or not, or if you're, you know, locked in your house, uh, it, it works, the plan works. Um, so why did I write the book? Um, fad diets weren't working for me. I, uh, I had gym memberships, they weren't working for me. I, I wasn't seeing a lot of gains and, and I got frustrated uh, that I wasn't achieving my goals. And as I started to accomplish things, um, I would write them down and, and, and kind of log in what was working and what wasn't working. And that's why I ended up writing this book because it sort of summarized my lessons learned uh, which was to help others on their health and fitness journey uh, told through a story. And uh, so the reader was learning um, while they were being entertained with a story. So that was really the concept of the book. And, uh, you know, I actually re re republished this book a year ago on Kindle. And again, it was just to kind of freshen it up a little bit. I didn't change any of the techniques. I just kind of changed updated it just a little bit and, um, and you know being being a different a different media world than when I wrote the book it was easy to you know put it put it up on Kindle and so it was a lot of fun so that, that's what I did um, so I did write a storybook uh, which I talked about uh, and I was entertaining um, uh, with the storyline but the, the goal was always about subliminally learning about weight loss so I wanted you to relax your mind and get in a space where you could just relax and and just learn about it without feeling like you were being, you know, forced into a, uh, you know, a diet plan because that's that's where we all stop. We all stop when we hear that word diet. We're like, oh, that's it. I don't want to hear about it because that means I'm, you know, cutting carbs and I'm, you know, going to the gym and I just don't like any of that. So I just stop mentally. Um, so that's what that was the idea behind it. Um, I also wrote it because I wanted people to learn with uh, entrenched information uh, to cause a transformation, to cause an everyday transformation. And in this training, it's very much the same thing. The deep entrenched information is going to be the success, um, you know, is going to be dependent on establishing in your mind uh, what is the why. You know, why do I want to lose weight? Why, why would I... Why would I subject myself to this life-changing moment? Um, so we're going to spend some time on that in a few minutes. We're going to focus on the why. In fact, I'm going to walk you through my why, which is very, very, very uh, eye-opening, to say the least. Um, the transformation for you is only going to happen when that why is instilled in your mind. It just has to be instilled. Um, Otherwise, it's just not going to happen for you. And it might be why you struggled before, because you just didn't have that why, that burning reason. You know, why do I want to go on this uh, weight loss journey? So let's take a look at my why. And, you know, this is, this is uh, very hard for me to, to kind of walk you through. Uh, it just brings me back to a time that it, it just wasn't fun, but I, th I think, you know, it, it will help uh, you understand how to obtain your why is by watching how I obtain my why. So here we go. What was my why? What was the reason I had to lose weight? Well, it started when my family had been chosen to be on a game show. And it was a game show, uh, it was called Opportunity Knox. And it was, uh, it was on ABC, it was a large network show. And they, they chose us to shoot the pilot. And they shot it at our house and kind of around our neighborhood. And of course it was during the summer, so you know everything was filmed outside and it was really hot. It was probably in the 90s to 100. Uh, so they kind of wanted some water type of, uh, you know, activities that we could, you know, or challenges that we could do and, you know, earn prizes. And, and that, so that was kind of the premise of the show. Uh, one of the stunts involved a slip and slide, which I've got a picture of here to the right, just showing this isn't me or anybody. This is just a, 
a picture in case you can't quite remember what a slip and slide is. There, there it is. It's, it's a giant piece of plastic and it's got water and you run and you jump and you slide down this slide. So they did that. And the further you got down the slide, the bigger your prize was. So each one of my family members, um, you know, they went through it. I thought they did pretty good. And I was the last one uh, because I was the father. And I remember, you know, taking off my shirt and I was jumping up and down to limber up and I was running like crazy to jump on that slip and slide and, and slide down there. Um, you know, when I hit the slip and slide, um, I didn't slide like these guys. Um, I kind of slid maybe halfway down and then I stopped. And I thought that wasn't, that wasn't really a promising slide. But, um, you know, as this says here, the worst was yet to come. The, uh, the, uh, the network, uh, it, was, it was a few months later and the, the studio called us up and they said, hey, let's do a sneak, a sneak peek of the show because uh, we are going to air it in the fall. And so we'd like to have you guys come down and, you know, it's, it's going to be in a theater. So we're going to play it on a big screen and you can invite your friends and family. And of course we did. We invited a lot of people to come down and see this show. And um, I was actually surprised how, how good it, it actually was. It, it was just beautiful how they shot it. And, you know, the family looked great. And they were really, they were really fun. Uh, and we were winning. We were winning a lot of prizes. And uh, I was just getting comfortable and I was really enjoying the show and relaxing. And I'd almost forgotten about the slip and slide scene. Uh, but it was the last scene of the show. And um, I, I just got to be real honest with you. Uh, after, after this uh, slip and slide uh, part of the show, uh, my life was about to change forever. So... Um, I do say change forever because it really did change my life forever. Um, so what happened is, is as the slip and slide scene was playing, I saw myself on the big screen and this is a big screen, uh, movie theater, shirtless, jumping up and down, uh, which was really bad. Uh, cause I, I just have never seen myself on a big screen without a shirt and, uh, it was bad. Uh, but it, it actually got a lot of worse. It got a lot worse. Uh, the show producers, they thought it'd be funny if they put me in slow motion and they were playing some funky music in the background to kind of synchronize my fat kind of bouncing up and down as I jumped. And so it was just, it was just horrific. And then the audience, you know, my friends and family, they were just laughing hysterically. And I really can't say I blame them, but every laugh is just cutting me into little pieces. Um, you know, if I had the studio video, I would definitely put it here because, and I've looked for it over the years, but I couldn't, I can't find it. And, but a, a picture is worth a thousand words, but just take my word for it. It was, it was horrible. It was the worst experience I ever, I ever had. Um, but uh, to me, to me, and because I don't have a picture of it, but to be honest with you, this is what I saw. This is exactly what I saw jumping up and down, just these rolls and rolls of fat and, and blub, um, you know, moving. I didn't have a cigar in my mouth, but I did. This is just a picture to show you what I saw of me. Um, and so, uh, as I said, you know, when they put me in slow motion, things were moving. Uh, and it was, it was horrible. Um, and even though the audience was laughing, I was dying inside. So that image, not necessarily this image, but that image of me, uh, has burned in my memory forever. And, uh, that's my why. I mean, I was so motivated that I would never, ever see myself looking like that again. It was just, it was just, uh, debilitating for me. So, um, so the question now becomes... So we found out what my why was. <clears throat> it's just a horrific image of myself and the embarrassment that I felt that day. And honestly, that image still burns in my mind some 25 years later. Uh, but now it's your turn. What is your why? And, you know, before you start anything new, especially a weight loss program, 
you've got to get this right in your mind. Why do you want to lose weight and get healthy? And, and that's for you. You saw mine. Um, it was horrible. But now, you know, now that's for you. This is your section. So the stronger the why, the better. So to be successful with this course, or you know, to be honest with any, any weight loss program you're going to try, um, if you do one thing right, it's get this one right. And you know, you'll have a very good chance to be successful. Um, but it really needs to be ingrained and burned into your mind, you know, what that why is. Um, a lot of people will say at the beginning of the year, New Year's Eve, well, I'm going to lose weight and that becomes my New Year's resolution. No, that's not going to work. That, that's not going to work for you. Um, you know, it, it has to be something that there has to be a strong why behind it. So, um, you know, up here, I put the problem statement up here is I want to lose weight and get healthy. So that's a, that's a pretty strong problem statement. But here's the tough part. Why? Why do you want to lose weight and get healthy? I listed some ideas uh, and some of them are actually some testimonials that I'll show you later. Some of these are actually uh, some actual testimonial reasons. Uh, but, you know, some of the reasons are uh, poor health. You know, you got low health, um, you know, poor health, I'm sorry. That, and you know, you want to improve your, your, your overall health, you know, uh, in your life. Uh, you've got low self-esteem, um, much like I did after I saw that video, I had very low self-esteem. Uh, you're lacking confidence, you know, you just don't have the confidence in, in how you look. Maybe you've got a family reunion coming up. You haven't seen people for 20 years and, you know, you're really motivated that, you know, I'm going to look my best. I'm going to look the best in my life. And I want to get, I want to get ready for that. Uh, maybe you've got a wedding that you're going to go to. And again, you're going to meet and see people that you haven't seen in, in, in a long time. And you want to make a really good uh, impression on them. Um, maybe it's a big vacation where there's going to be a lot of pictures and videos. And it's that, it's that once in a lifetime vacation. And you just want to look your best. You want to look your best. You want to feel your best. And um, you know, maybe you have low to no energy. Um, these are just a few ideas. Um, what I'd recommend you do right now is you, you know, get a pen and paper out and write down every reason you can think of why you'd want to be health, uh, why you'd want to lose weight and get healthy and then pick the strongest life changing reason. Uh, and it needs to be a strong one because you're going to have to refer back to that uh, over and over and over again uh, as you go through your journey. I think, um, I think the female heroine in my book, uh, her name was Paige, and I think one of her life-changing uh, moments is she had a pair of jeans hanging in her closet, and she wanted to fit in those jeans. She hadn't fit in them in so long, and um, that's when she, she knew that she needed help because she couldn't get those jeans on and um, it, it sort of motivated her to you know actually seek out and find a, a personal trainer in the story so what's your why you know what's going to be your why what's going to be your reason uh, why you want to do this just leave it at, at this uh, this is the last this is the last slide for today and it's just you know it's just a basic worksheet but it's you know, I need to lose this many pounds per month to meet my goal of this many pounds in 12 months lost. Um, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to break this down into, you know, small increments and then list your whys over here. You know, list a few here. You know, why do I want to do it? And it's, you know, because I always wanted to, you know, look good or I, you know, I've got some health issues here and you list a few of them here and then you pick the strongest one. You know, you pick the strongest one that makes that you're really going to be motivated to move uh, and, and go on this weight loss journey. And you will be successful if you're able to come up with that, that why. Um, so that, that's all I had for today. You know, any comments, you know, please leave them in the comments section. 
and and I'll get back with you. And then the, the next video I'll have will be, um, you know, after you've got your why, it might make more sense than to understand what we're going to do next on, you know, uh, how you're going to be eating and uh, what you're going to be eating and how much you're going to be eating. So uh, we're going to cover that in the next video. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for now. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.